Welcome to this video tutorial on how to convert static 3D models into Ngrain 3KOs. I'm going to show you a simple process using 3D Studio Max and the Polytrans plugin. I've got 3D Studio Max 2011 open here. This is an engine model that I want to turn into a 3KO. To do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the command panel, click on the Utilities tab, and click on More. From the Utilities pull-down menu, I'm going to look for the Polytrans I.O. Converter selection, hit OK. That opens up the Polytrans Utilities panel. I'm going to make sure that I'm in the Export tab. i scroll all the way down to Export Ngrain 3KO to NGW. So click on that, and you have an opportunity to save the file. This engine's called the Smart VRS Engine. I'm going to save the 3 kill to the exact same name, and I'm going to pad it with a resolution number. I'll explain that a little bit later, but that's the size of the voxel model resolution that I want to export to. I'm going to hit save. You'll notice that the status bar changes and it starts calculating the geometry, and the end grain export filter box pops open. From here, I'm going to pick the dimension that I mentioned earlier, I can either type in 1000 or I can go to the pull down menu and select it from the preset dimensions. I'm going to make sure that my visual quality is high by making sure the slider bar is all the way to the right. Then I'm going to click on my advanced tab. From here I'm going to make sure that I'm picking an end grain 3KO format and the latest version of the model converter at 4.1. At the maximum resolution, I'm going to change these to, say, 100 and 1000. I won't get into that now, but what this is going to allow to happen in the conversion is to balance out the visual fidelity between the contrasting small and large parts. I'm also going to make sure that the parts axis alignment box is checked and the geometry instancing box is checked. The part axis alignment allows for some of the local axis points within the 3D Studio Max model to convert into the voxel model, as well as the geometry instancing. Multiple parts like these little nuts here that you can see in an array, and the bolts and washers that all came from similar geometry get accounted for to result in some file size efficiency. I'm going to hit OK. Right now, the converter is going to be looking at every part in the model and assessing them for conversion. This is going to take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause right now and come back when it's done. I'll let you know how long it took. Conversion's done. It took about eight minutes. As soon as the conversion finishes, the dialog box disappears. That just means that the conversion is complete and we can go take a look at the 3KO. So I'm going to open up Ngrain Producer Pro 5.0. I'm going to navigate to the location where I had that 3KO converted to. Hit open. Give it a chance to load. You'll remember from the conversion dialog box that we saved in 3KO 4.1 format. You can get this little pop-up here and go click past it. Let me just rotate the scene a little bit here so you can get a better look. So that max file is now in a 3KO and ready to be authored or animated in Producer. It was really hard to tell from the 3DS Max model, we really we just started converting, how many parts there were in this model and just how complex it really is. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on the Explode Parts button in Producer, and I'm going to slide the slider out to the right just to show you how complicated this model really is. You know, the strength of Producer is it can really help you animate and interact with some pretty complex stuff. There are actually over a hundred parts or better in this model. Let me zoom out a little bit. It's a very complicated model. Just to show you the sheer magnitude, let me just move a few of the parts uh, aside. Now this is an imaginary jet engine that we use for demonstration purposes, but we put a little bit of thought into 
how complex uh, an engine might be. This is really quite rudimentary for a real mechanic, but uh, for a demo model it's pretty complicated. One last thing I wanted to show you is the file size difference. I'm just going to go to uh, File Open here and let me just click on an asterisk to show you that that max file was actually 204 megabytes in size and the 1000 resolution 3KO is a mere 7.3 megs. That means that this model can be used quite easily for animations and uh, distributing on the web etc whereas this max model at 200 megs is really quite hard to share amongst people. The max model is good for rendering out but you get to just watch and play videos and you need 3D Studio Max to create the animations and then render them out to videos where you're going to watch them in say Windows Media Player. The 3KO now we can animate in producer at a very small file size view in the free viewer embed it in PDFs and Word documents and PowerPoints etc and watch them in VTTs and VTRs the end grain uh, applications that's the conversion process using 3D Studio Max and Polytrans to generate a, an end grain 3KO of the Smart VRS engine model. We'll cover off converting CAD models using Transmagic in another video. So thanks for watching.